Okay, due to the fact that the light was so bright, it was pretty much glaring and you couldn't see anything with this big bright lamp up in the ceiling, I decided to open my curtain and let in the natural light. That's number two. Today we're revisiting Thunder Heritage Limited number five. Now for those of you who may have noticed, I've been accidentally doing let's try for a few of these instead of let's revisit and in an effort to edit it out it well instead of deleting the original title and adding the new it will add let's revisit under heritage blah 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 and then it'll say immediately afterward let's try i don't know why youtube is doing this i'm having problems with it it Seems to be a new layout. I don't know. But anyways. <sighs> Definitely a sour. Not strong, but present pomegranate. Here's the pouch. And of course, you have to let it sort of wait and let the flavor kind of work itself. I think because the products are dry, it's uh, the flavor is a bit delayed. So the cooling sensation is happening now, as well as that strong tingle minor burn <coughs> it's kind of like a stinging burn and it's only where the pouch meets in on the gum and sometimes on the tongue where you touch it now because I've the, the um, burning sensation, which I'm pretty sure is nicotine, and nicotine absorption is happening, and I've been salivating up, and that flavor is there, though the flavor is weak. I will wait a little while, but right now that flavor is... Like it's stronger than the number two, there is a flavor, <coughs> excuse me, damn it, I'm getting the burp ups now. I'm going to have to put this on pause. Probably not. Anyways, there is a flavor <coughs> present, unlike the number Okay, and I'm, I am gonna have to put this on pause one moment. <coughs> one moment. And I'm back. The pause was maybe 45 seconds to a minute. I don't know, other than possibly the nicotine, I don't know why it gets these hiccups when I try these products occasionally. I mean, I do know due to my cleft, I swallow air when I, or I swallow air when I swallow, and that's why I tend to burp a lot, but as far as this goes, I mean, I understand getting the burps, but I, under, I don't understand getting the hiccups anyways. The flavor is... Like, it's present now, it's not building up, it's there now. But it's very faint. It's not even subdued, it's below subdued, it's faint. Though I do find if I touch it with my tongue, 
I get a bit of a flavor burst, but it's by no means much. I mean, it is more present than the Sunder is in number two. I mean, number two is always barely any flavor or flavor at all. This there's flavor, but it's very faint, so the sensation that tingling nicotine absorbing sensation is still happening. But it's only happening where the pouch meets the gums. It's not even happening on my cheek. As for orating, um, again, I'm going to throw all prejudice aside because I am disappointed that there's not that much flavor considering I was really looking forward to the pomegranate. I'm going to rate it a, I don't even remember what I rated the number two, and that was another one I was looking forward to. I'm going to rate it a 57. 57 out of 100. Above average, I mean, it's good, it's just not that good. And I will be leaving the pouch in, and also another thing to note, again, I was having a lot of pain in my shoulder when I, before I did this video, and I don't know when the pain sort of disappeared, it was probably before I even put the video on pause to looking back, but that pain is no longer there. The pain's no longer there, so that's one of the reasons why I've been using these products too, is pain management. I will suggest trying it if you're curious, I'll also suggest trying all five of these if you use wet snuff and you're in an area where spitting is prohibited or frowned upon, I mean, I've been swallowing these since I've started using them. And aside from the hiccups or the burp ups I get, which may not even me be due to me swallowing, it might be just due to something else, possibly the nicotine. Bit embarrassing, I know, but oh well. <laughs> Laugh and judge me all you want, I really don't care. But aside from that, I mean, these are very discreet. The pouch is right here. There's only the one. You can't see it. By the way, do the sort of light coming on and off the minor light is due to my laptop screen turning on and off. I don't have a stand for my, or a phone case which stands for my phone. I don't have a phone case for this new phone at all. I'll be picking that up probably sometime towards the end of the month. But the phone is pretty much standing horizontally against my laptop screen. Which is probably why the light coming on and off is even more noticeable and also because the light up top is turned off just due to the fact that for some reason the glare was so glaring, and again, my computer just turned off, but the glare was so glaring that it was almost like staring into the sun. You couldn't see anything. I do like this, it says, and I will use it. In fact, I'll probably use it more than the number two. 
I have a feeling the number two I'm only going to use as a pain management. <coughs> Excuse me, but I did feel good. Pain management and not really necessarily for enjoyment because there was very little of any flavor to it. But this I will use and also to note. Probably after I get my royalty check from Aids House Publishing, my book publisher, which will be well after, sometime in January, I'll figure out roughly, not necessarily how much, but roughly how many books sold. I'm not expecting a high amount. But I'm expecting enough to do an order from the dreaded Northerner. And I will be picking up a... Probably, I probably won't be picking up any dry or nasal snuff at all because the tins I have already, which is a little over a half a dozen. One, two... In fact, it is exactly half a dozen, not counting the dental American Scotch snuff, which I rarely if ever use. I mean, I'm going to be using it. I'm going to be using that once I get rid of the other stuff. But I have a half a dozen tins. It's going to last me a very long time. I'm going to be picking up primarily pouched snus or Nordic chew. And I intend, though whether or not I do, may differ once I place the order, but I intend to get a minimum of five of the cinnamon, but the cinnamon is not a dry pouch. The cinnamon, I believe, that I'll be picking up anyways, or intend to pick up unless I find something else. <laughs> it's wet. So I intend to pick up around five, maybe six of those. So again, the actual order might be different, plus a few others. And there is a holiday edition cinnamon and other holiday spiced dry snuff where if it's available when I order I'll pick up, but you also have to keep in mind that I am very hesitant to get from Northern because they put right on the package contains tobacco and of course Custom looks at it and goes, ooh, we have to ding this, so My first order, which ironically was two orders, a pouch just fell out Although it had right on the packaging has tobacco, I did not get hit by customs. So again, you have to keep in mind that I placed it oddly enough around this time of year. If anything, I placed it probably in December. And just due to the sort of holiday rush, it may have skipped customs eye because of that, but I got pretty much at least one order because one was coming from America and the other from overseas Europe um scant Nordic area of Europe I placed one order it came in two and both of them made it past customs now, due to Northerner doing their change, I will no longer be allowed to order American products, which is fine, I guess. I mean, I wasn't really interested in the American products anyway, save for the potential of the non-tobacco nicotine pouches, which I'm assuming are American. I don't know. But due to Northerner doing their change, now that it's past November 11th, 
actually past November 10th, it started on November 11th, they no longer ship American products to Canada. I don't know why it might be due to Canadian laws, but frankly, Northerner is, uh, it's not exactly the site to go to. It's a bit of a ripoff, especially if you live in America and you're ordering American products because the shipping is high and depending on where you live in America, the shipping, like if they have the option, which they don't because they make their money off shipping probably, but if they have the option, you could probably drive a hour, couple hours or so and pick it up directly from the warehouse. So the fact they are charging that much in shipping is not necessarily criminal in the actual law, but it's criminal in opinion. Well, unless Mr. Snuff has the pouches I am looking for, and again, Mr. Snuff is European and I will be going there from now on unless I am ordering snooze as well. But for strictly nasal stuff I'm gonna be going to Mr. Snuff from now on because we just have a better variety. And I will comment on that once I inevitably order from them which will be in Definitely in the new year. <coughs> the flavor, it's been 17 minutes recording, but I did have that pause, so probably closer to 18, give or take a few. The flavor is no longer there. The sensation is light and it's more of a cooling sensation which I don't know where that cooling sensation is coming from because I am really under the impression that these do not contain menthol with the exception of I believe it's number three Yes, and the number three may, may not even be menthol, it might be some other mint, but it wasn't present in the flavor, and also after I did the video for number three a couple of days, that's the day after actually, I believe yesterday I put in a number three, and the flavor was stronger, but there was no mint. This flavor is pretty much gone now, but there is that still that it's not even a tingle anymore it's just a cool i'm gonna call it frost because frost is the lightest term i can think of but even for a frost it's a very light frosty sensation going on right now and in fact, shortly after the video, I might take this out and put in a different one. Probably a, maybe a number three just simply to get rid of a can or a number four just simply because that's the one I enjoy the most, oddly enough. Like I said, I think the, I gave the, the final rating a 57. Hopefully when I put this video up, I will remember to put in revisit and let's revisit instead of let's try so I don't have to edit it on YouTube and have the obvious glaring mistake show up in the video title. Again, I would suggest trying these if for no other reason than it's by no means offensive, it's just it's a little bit disappointing in my in my humble opinion.
It's not even an unhumble opinion. It's a humble opinion. This is a little disappointing. Take care, everybody. Have yourselves a good day or whatever time of day it is where you ha when you happen to be watching this video and where you are. Take care and bye.